Hello everyone, my name is, is Sigflup, also known as Assembly Assembly, and you're watching Gendercore Chat, and today's Wednesday, and uh, that means it's time once again for me to fill in. Uh, before I get into the word of the day, the word of the week, I, I do want to mention, this is my microphone. It's a very nice microphone. I have two of them, and uh, I'm, I'm looking to do a feminist podcast with someone. I haven't done podcasting in a while, and... It's a load of fun, and uh, you get a good response from people if, if you do it right. And um, so, yeah, I, I was thinking about Themisor because I think we sound really good together, but life is life, and for her, life is hectic, as it is for a lot of people, too hectic um, for her to, to help out. So if there's anyone in Minneapolis who wants to do a feminist podcast with me, um let me know. It would be a lot of fun. I'd like to record us and see what we sound like. And hopefully, um, we can come up with a name and whatnot. I'm, I'm going to do all the production work and I'll do all the hosting and everything like that. You just have to talk. This week's word is envy. Can we say envy, kids? That's right. Envy. Envious. That's, that's something that I have been in my life here or there, I've had the glitter of envy um, before. I'm, I'm sure everyone has, uh, quite frankly. Um, it's fairly easy to be envious of, of people, especially if, if you're not part of mainstream culture, because mainstream culture tends to um, give people who fit into its mold, give people um, positive reinforcement, whereas you don't get this positive reinforcement, and it becomes easy to envy someone who does, be them cisgender or whatever. It, but, um, but, uh, what, what's solidified my view on envy in the past few years, um, the, the event that, that solidified my view on envy the most, I think, was there was this one person who said that they were envious of me. That's right, envious of me. I thought that was the strangest thing. They, they, they were envious that I was, was um, androgynous looking. And uh, I thought, boy, I'm not, <laughs> I, um, I can't get out of it. <laughs> you can, uh, I can't necessarily get out of it like you can. And, and so I was secretly envious of them. And I, I realized, as I have realized before, but it wasn't quite solidified in my mind, I realized that um, everything you're envious of, or anyone, any, everything you're envious of is, is something that they see differently than you. And that could make you all the more envious. You say to yourself, oh, well, they don't even appreciate, right? But they can't see it the same way you can because they're in their life and you are in yours and i think for everyone um um not just gender ambiguous people i think for everyone it's fairly easy to be envious of people who are conventionally attractive but being conventionally attractive has its own problems and has problems that you're not necessarily aware of everything that you're envious of for another person comes with its own problems and uh, to, to indulge in envy, um, to put it heavily, to indulge in envy is like living in a fantasy world. A world that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist for you, nor does it exist for them. Because of what you're envious of is, is not the same for them most of the time. Um, so it's, it's important to not be envious. And I myself am env envious from time to time. I, I think I will always be envious from time to time. I think everyone will be envious from time to time. And you should feel no guilt from being envious of people. But uh, keep it in check. And don't let envy consume you. Because it will. And uh, you have more important things to do. You have a life to focus on your life to focus on instead of their life to focus on, which is what you should be doing because you're the only person that can, can focus on your life. And uh, you're, you're the only person, you're the most important person to yourself. 
and uh, remember that and live in your life, not theirs. Um, because it's important for your own mental health. It's it's important for for every reason. So, yeah, envy. I understand envy. Um, at least has it, ha how it's been presented to me in my life. And uh, I've been envious. I generally try not to feel guilt of being envy, but I also try to not. Um, I also try to keep it in check. And not let envy um, be something that I think about for a very long time. So, take care everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.